Hey Tia. Hey Mom. What we are learning today? Today I am going to tell my viewers about the water cycle. Oh wow, interesting topic. So what are you telling us about the water cycle? I am going to tell you many interesting facts about the water cycle. So guys, if you want to know them, please check to the end of the video. Yes. So shall we start? Yes. So friends, we are going to start with the water cycle. What is cycle? Cycle is a rhythmic pattern or any pattern that starts from something and ends from the same thing. Like when the earth revolves around the sun, after it revolves, it comes to the same place. So over here in the water cycle, we are starting from liquid water and ending with liquid water by evaporating, condensating, condensating and precipitating. So guys, this is the cycle of water. The first step in the water cycle is evaporation. What is evaporation? Evaporation is the process from which the sun's heat warms the water to form water vapors. This process is called evaporation. So the sun's heat makes the water warm which evaporates into the air which is called evaporation. So Tia, can you tell me some other examples of evaporation in our daily life? Yes. Tell if, me. If mom remembers that, remembers that day when I gave you that hot cup of tea, but you were busy and, yes. it, and it was all cold when you were free. Yeah. It was because of evaporation only. Oh, great. And mom, you wash your hair daily, right? Right. After some time, they get dry. It is also because of evaporation. Oh, wow. And when you put the clothes, wet clothes, to dry out in the sun, mm -hmm. they dry after some time. That too because of evaporation. Okay. Anything else you want to share? Yes. There's one more example. Like when we sweat, we feel cool after some time because the sweat that is produced by a body gets evaporated. So that is why we feel cool. Okay. So mom, do you know there's a thing that we use at home that is very important for us and that is made from the process of evaporation. Can you guess what? No, what's that? It's salt. Salt from from the process of evaporation. So the next process is condensation. When the water vapor comes in contact with cool air, it forms into tiny water droplets. These water droplets are light and they float in the air to form clouds. This is called condensation. So when this warm air comes in contact with the cool air, this forms these clouds. So this is process is called condensation. So Tia, can you tell me the examples of condensation from the daily life? Yes. Mom, whenever you pour cold water in a glass, after some time you may see that there are water droplets on the glass surface. It is too because of condensation. Okay. And the dew on the leaves of plants, that is also because of condensation. Okay. And mom, remember that day when you took the hot shower and we saw the foggy mirror? Yes. That's too because of condensation. Interesting. And the other foggy mirrors too are because of condensation. Okay. What else happened after condensation in the water cycle? condensation precipitation happens and what is precipitation Pre precipitation is the process in which the clouds have water rockets inside them and precipitation is the process when the water rockets come down and get collected into the water bodies interesting so in water cycle we starts with the liquid water yes which turns into vapor yes and then again it transfer into droplet which is the liquid form yes. of the water yes. 
and we get the liquid water again through the process of precipitation. Yes. So this makes our water cycle. So can we do uh, an experiment in the water cycle? Yes. For our viewers? Yes. Okay. Let's do it. Welcome back guys. I am ready with my experiment equipment. The materials required are a just a glass jar. You can paint it if you want as I have painted. You can paint it like you want. So, and we also need a plate full of ice cubes. Those are very cool. And we will also need warm water. So let's start guys. I have poured warm water with the help of my mom inside this jar. And now I'm going to keep this plate full of ice cubes on it. I'm going to wait a bit. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, wow, guys. And Tia, please tell the disclaimer that you do this experiment in the adult supervision. Yeah. Because you are using the hot water. Yeah. Do this with adult supervision, guys. Now wait for a minute. Bye. And see, you will see the rain very soon. Oh, wait. I saw I think I'm seeing it, guys. See? Remove your hand from the bottle. Let your viewers to see the rains will come out and very soon. And there's a fog. What we have done, we have kept a plate of ice so that the vapors will get cool from this ice plate and they get condensed and precipitate and the rain will form very soon. Wait, I can see this. Rain is water vapor over The blue here. color rain will happen because we have added the food color, the blue food color. Look guys, the droplets are forming and falling as rain. Wow, it's pure magic I think. See the blue color rain droplets are coming down. Let me zoom in. Wow, yeah really. Look guys, the blue coloring is falling because I got the blue food coloring. So guys, this was my experiment of what is So guys, remember when I told you about this example and condensation? When we put cold water inside a glass and after some time we see water droplets on the surface. That's what I did. I took a glass and put cold ice cube water inside the glass and there's water droplets on the surface. It is all because of condensation. Hope you guys liked my experiments on water cycle, condensation and my exploration of water cycle. If you like it, please subscribe my channel on Tia's Tricks.